This video introduces my album cover poetry, Collection, Ritual One. Remember the song with a little help from my friends by Beatles? I love the cover by Charles Jones. I first went to my friend's record store called Mixtape Shop in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, and collected damaged records that were sellable at the store. I did five or six trips to retrieve about 250 records in total. It seemed such an uneasy task by taking public transportation in this video. However, I was very excited to get back to my crate digging days interdimensionally. I transported the records to my previous studio, generously provided by NAS Foundation in Sunset Park. I originally had a plan to apply vinyl records to make only one performance video, yet it became five rituals in a series I found the visual images of the album covers so powerful. Wiping, Ritual 2. Each album art was unique and beautiful. It brought me back memories of the time I was listening to many of the songs I couldn't throw away. So I chose to repurpose, use the cardboard jacket. These cardboards were covered with the fungus and feces of mice that did not stop me. Because I was in a breeze taking a trip down memory lane, an idea to compose a poem with the album covers was initially discovered while documenting these repetitive movements of a wiping and a drawing performance in video. You know, dance is the byproduct of the music. If the music does not move you, does not touch you in a certain way, it does not give you that, that uh, motivation to move at all. You know, um, when music takes you over, you just, well, at least for me, it, it, you want to be part of that. So you have this beautiful thing that's happening and you try to mend yourself or meld yourself with this beautiful thing. That's how it's always been for me. I collaborated with the voice of my friend and dancer, Archie Burnett, describing the music and spirituality while hanging the album covers to dry on the walls. I experimented poetic compositions through the process to enhance the context of my poem titled Face the Music. The subject was domestic violence based on my experience in 90s New York City. Drawing, Ritual 3. 